Women that are on Match.com or eHarmony.com tend to be looking for relationships, but women that obviously are on these sex partners' websites is, you know, I'm sure in a lot of cases, a lot of these women have just gotten to the point where they're so fed up with men in general and the fact that most men just have absolutely no idea how to communicate or interact with them that, you know, they still have the same desires, the same sexual desires. They want to be fulfilled. They want to have passion. And so they figure, you know what, I can't find a great guy to have a relationship with, and I don't want to go without the sex, and I don't want to get into a situation with, with you know, because they may have gotten into a situation where they had a guy that they had friends with benefits, and the dude gets all hung up on them and then wants a relationship. And then, she, you know, it becomes dra you know, something that's drama-based, and then she ends up having to break up with the guy and break it off eventually. But a lot of these women, you can see, if, if only not, you know, three out of 100 guys get it, Women just says, you know what, fuck it, I can't find a relationship, I still want to be fulfilled, and so they'll, they'll join a sex website. And what happens a lot of times is they start having sex with somebody and they have some real chemistry with them, and then you end up getting into a relationship with them anyways. I've had lots of friends, and I have people that used to work for me over the years that have, have gone on these websites, and that's nine times out of ten, that's what happens. They'll screw around, they'll have sex with a few different people, and then they'll find one person they'll have a connection with and then you end up getting into a relationship and that's the nature of reality that's the nature of the of our evolving human relationships I mean the bottom line is people want to have their needs met and that's one of the ways that they're going about fulfilling it